In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to flash the infused ROM. And um, I'm assuming that you're coming off the same root method that I used in previous tutorial, which can be found here. If you're not following the video tutorial that I'm pointing out right now, from which you rooted, I suggest that you just go to this post and read it for yourself and do it manually. Because um, if you didn't follow the root method that I used, it's going to be different. If you have, then just keep following my video tutorial that you're watching right now. Um, also, I am not the developer. All credit goes to GTG465X. He or she is the developer of this um, ROM and the method in to flash it to your device. So, if you have any problems, ask in this forum post. Don't ask me because I'm not a developer. And what else? Oh, by flashing this uh, or attempting to flash this ROM you could potentially damage your device if you do something wrong so you're being forewarned now you're doing everything at your own risk and with that said this forum post link will be in the description and every single file and app that I mentioned will also be in the description which you can follow along um, the first thing like I said if you're following from my root method that I used prior you're gonna have a voodoo folder in your SD card oh make sure you plug in your phone it's your SD card um, you're going to have a voodoo folder, so what you're going to do is actually delete that from the SD card, okay? And you're going to need a certain zip file, the clockwork infused kernel, blah blah blah, and I'll put that in the description, which you just download it and put it into the SD card, which I've done right here, okay? You're going to need that in just a minute. And what you're going to do from here is just disconnect the, um, phone from the computer because it's necessary as a developer said when you delete the voodoo folder so because it takes a few minutes um, we'll continue on from there okay uh, so one thing I would like to point out is that if if during the process of flashing the ROM you ever have to restart your phone and it's taking like 10 to 15 minutes to restart and you hear some sort of robotic female terminator type of voice don't be scared, it's just the, um, the the ROM process, like, doing something to the SD card. And with that, it, it shouldn't affect the files and pictures you have on your SD card, but I highly suggest you back them up before continuing any further. Um, so, like I said, uh, let's continue on. The next thing you're going to do is download SGS Kernel Flasher from Google Play, which will also be in the description below. And you're going to press Backup Kernel let it do its thing okay and now the next thing you do is choose kernel and you're gonna probably have to go back if you put on the SD card go down uh, where are you here remember that zip file you downloaded and put on your SD card you're gonna select that you're gonna do flash kernel Okay, as you can see, it said it's going to reboot. <sighs> I want you to hear the robot voice. You kind of, because it sounds cool, and you know that you're on the right track. I guess it doesn't want to do it this time. But anyway, at this point, it should take like it depends about 10 minutes, perhaps even 15 minutes to restart. Um, it's just doing a whole bunch of stuff to the SD card, so don't worry about it. And we'll continue from there. Okay, so depending on um, the last step, it take it may take uh, 10 to 15 minutes to complete where the uh, robotic female Terminator voice was talking to you. Um, so once that's done, what you need to do is go to Google Play and download this app called Raw Manager, also found in the description. You need to flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. And th this particular step, all of this part right here, is why I recommend you have a Wi-Fi connection, a, st a strong one at that actually. Um, okay, from here, you're going to select the Samsung Galaxy S i9000. Do not select anything else. It could damage your device. And while it's doing that, um, the reason I'm, I flashed the infused ROM, this ROM, it's very sim It's actually based on the Rogers stock gingerbread ROM, but it removes carrier IQ. Rogers denied having it on, on uh, any device except for, I believe, the LG Phoenix, but... 
what do you know? It's it's actually on the Infuse 4G. If you're not sure what carrier carrier sorry IQ is, I suggest you Google it. There was a whole federal investigation involving it and um, for Android and iPhone devices and whatever. Anyway, enough of that. You're gonna it's successfully finished. Press OK. Then you're gonna hit download ROM. You're gonna look for where is his name? There it is. GT G465X. You're going to download the latest infused ROM. I'm using 2.2.3, which is very, very stable. Hit download. And I'm assuming you're doing this for the first time, so you're going to click full download. Okay, you're going to get a whole bunch of options, and some of these are not compatible with each other. Like, I can't select all of them at the same time and flash them. Some so, some work right off the bat, some don't. So, like, for example, if I disable Clockwork Mod uh, Battery Percentage in the notification bar, I, I can't flash anything else right now. I'd have to restart the phone when it's completely done and then do it. So, it's I'm not going to get into that whole technical stuff. It's just it's not worth it. Um... From here, before I continue, I just want to double check I'm doing this correct. <sighs> okay, so wipe Dalvik cache, wipe data. Make sure these two are checkmarked. If you want to back up his existing ROM, it's up to you. I'm not going to do it. Hit OK. Press OK to reboot into Clockwork Recovery. So like I said, uh, I was already on the infused ROM, I'm doing this again to teach you, and as you saw, the Rogers logo does flash. Um, it's a custom version of the, the stock Rogers ROM, I guess is the easiest way to say it. From here, all you do is just wait. It's just going to format everything, it's going to install the, uh, the ROM, and you just sit back, relax, and then you can enjoy your phone to its full potential. And like I said, if you have lag recording like if you're recording at 15 frames per second instead of 30 I I will provide a video at the end of this video and showing you how to uh, get it done that method I show you is actually compatible with the infused ROM so that's another bonus and um, I believe that's pretty much it so like I said if you have any problems contact the developer in this thread and all files and necessary information will be in the description and thanks for watching. If you found this video so useful, subscribe to my channel, check out my website for technology news and rumors, and thanks for watching.